I'm so excited to show you guys how I DIY'd this summer theme cherry tear tray. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, friends, so we are going to be putting together this cherry themed tear tray and the transfers are all sold separately as well as the tear tray pieces, the little accessory cutouts, as well as the tear tray. So I just picked up all of these accessories and then I also had these little square box frames in my stash. So I figured that we would use them as well. And we're also going to be doing some Dollar Tree DIYs at the end for this as well. So I start by taking the tear tray out of the package and don't forget to take out the handle as well. It's wrapped up in a piece of like plastic or something. So you want to make sure that you don't throw that away. And then I'm going to start by taking these half beads that I had in my stash and putting some into two plastic bags. Next, I'm going to take some Candy Apple Red Arteza paint and I'm going to put that in my plastic bag. And this is the easiest way to paint either half beads or regular unfinished wood beads. I cannot stand painting them one by one. Y'all know that I'm super impatient if you've been around for any length of time. So this is the easiest way that I have found to paint the beads super quick and easy. I do the same exact thing for the next bag with some marshmallow white Arteza acrylic paint as well. Once I have them completely covered, then I'm just going to dump them out on a plate. Now the paint that you see here on these plates are dry, so I was not worried about the colors transferring. And then I'm going to just face them all up and dry them with my blow dryer. Once my beads were completely dry, then I'm going to take my eggshell blue chalk paste and I'm going to put a little bit into a container. I'm also going to add some water to create paint. Next, I'm just going to mix it up and mix it until the, I get the consistency that I personally like. Now, you can play around with this, um, but that's the beauty with chalk paste. Not only does it last a really long time, but you can paint with it and use it with your transfers. Now you can also use chalk paint with transfers. However, you will not get the full life out of your transfers because if you did not know, you can use these over and over and over again as long as you take care of them. And like I said, if you don't have chalk paste, you can totally use chalk paint but I would not advise to use anything like acrylic paint. It will ruin your transfer. So once I had my chalk paste to the consistency that I want in a paint, then I'm just going to give the top and the bottom of the tray two really good coats of this drying in between coats. And here you can see how absolutely gorgeous that turned out. So smooth, full coverage. I absolutely love doing the chalk paste with water technique. Next, I'm just going to alternate between my beads that I colored, starting with white, going to red, and I did leave a little space in between each bead. That way, I didn't have to use too many beads, and I did not, y'all know, again, I'm impatient, so I did not want to paint more beads, so I just did my best to use up what I had without using too many and having to make more. Once I was done the top tray, then I finished the bottom tray doing the same technique as well. So this is what's cool about the tiered tray coordinating transfers and all the little pieces. So it comes with the tiered tray transfer and you can customize this to any color you want. You can do this to your decor and that's what I love most about this. Even though it does have transfers that go with it, you can change it up to your liking like I said. So I just transfer on the top one 
with my white chalk paste and as you can see it is half of the tray so once you do the first side you're going to pull it up really slowly that's how you get that nice crisp image first off you want to make sure that you stir your paste really well then you're going to apply the paste with light to even pressure you don't want to go too heavy-handed because it might bleed and then you pull that up dry it really well and then you want to do the second side and on the transfer you can line it up really nicely because it does have the center and then once I'm done with the top piece then I'm gonna go on to the bottom piece now the bottom one is a lot more detailed than the top so I start off in the middle of it with my white paste as well as on the edge so the little curvy parts i don't really know what you want to call it and then i obviously transfer on the cherries with my candy apple red the stems with the wild lime and then the rest of the details in my black paste now i am going to leave most of this in here so you can see exactly what i'm talking about and how i did it Then once I'm completely done, I once again peel that back nice and slow to reveal the image and I promise you that that part never gets old. Once I'm done with the first side, then I dry it really well and I transfer on the second side. I then just go ahead and assemble my tiered tray. And that was it for the actual tear tray part. I absolutely love the way that this looks. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't too sure when I started this, but I am so pleased with the way it turned out. If you guys are enjoying this video, I would greatly appreciate if you would share it out. Subscribe if you haven't already become part of my crafty family. That way you don't miss any DIYs. I want you all to know how much I love and appreciate you guys for supporting every single thing I do. And with that being said, let's jump back into today's video. Now moving on to all the little decor, I'm going to take the cutout pieces, take them out of the plastic, and then I'm also going to cut up the transfer that coordinates with those so that I can kind of see what I'm going to do with what colors. Obviously the colors that are obvious um so like the cherries and all that obviously will be red but i wasn't too sure what color i wanted to do the bowl and all of the other pieces so i start off with the bowl of cherries and i'm going to transfer on the bowl part with the eggshell blue and then the little band above the bowl i'm going to transfer that on with my camel chalk paste Now, once I'm done with the banding, then obviously the cherries I'm going to do with my candy apple red and the stems with my lime. And the other thing that I absolutely love about Chalkatory, y'all, is that anybody can do it. My daughter, who is now seven, started chalking when she was four, almost five, and she became a pro at it very quickly. So you don't need any technology you don't need a computer you don't need to design it and then cut it out and all these things that take a lot of time that I just do not have these days time is not my friend my kid is about to be done school so it's the end of school year things are crazy with that I also have a breastfed baby who is very needy these days and a two-year-old who is also needy 
and I'm just realizing how much time I've missed with them so these days I'm just really soaking it up before they get older so that is why my content has been kind of all over the place um, but I'm not mad at it so anyway we will definitely be getting back to normal schedule programming very soon trust me when I tell you that I absolutely miss it so much and it's only a matter of time before I'm back in full action. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you for those of you who understand and support me no matter what. But anyway, I set that first one aside. And then for the little ice cream dish, I did the ice cream itself with my peony. I transferred on the cherry again with the candy apple red and the stem with the lime as well as the little container with the eggshell blue. I also put that one aside and then I transfer on the cherry once again with the lime and the candy apple. And once again, peeling back that transfer is so satisfying. If you guys want to know how to get 40% off all of the items in my chalk site, just text my number the word chalk and it will shoot you a link and give you all the info. Next, I'm going to go back to my bowl of cherries and I'm going to transfer on the wording that says life is just a bowl of cherries. I thought that that was absolutely perfect and I did transfer that on with my black chalk paste. I pulled it up and then hit it with my blow dryer. Next, I'm going to take those little box frames that I had. These are also on the chalk site. They come in a pack of four. So I took all four of them out. I wasn't too sure if I was going to use all four of them, but I did go ahead and just glue that bowl of cherries on the edges right down to that box frame. And then that was it for this little mini project. Next, I'm going to take out the tiered tray essential kit, and this comes with so many cute little tiered tray items. So it has the little mini rolling pin, the fake book stack, the little mini board and base. We actually have bigger boards and bases as well the mini cutting board and then a little picture so i'm just going to take that same paint that i used on the tear tray itself and i'm going to give the rolling pin two good coats of it as well i set that aside and i also paint one of the sides of the book stack with the eggshell blue I'm also going to tape off the top of the cutting board and I'm going to paint both sides of the cutting board with that same paint. Now I honestly wish that I would have painted this like white or even black. It was just too much of this color. Um, so you live and you learn, right? The tray plus the rolling pin plus, I mean, it was just too much for my liking. I do personally love the way that it turned out, but if I had to go back and do it again, then I would probably paint this a different color or at least paint one side the eggshell blue and then one side white so that way I could transfer on two images and maybe you know change it out every so often I'm not really sure but anyway um next I'm going to take my camel chalk paste and this time I did not water it down just because your girl was being lazy and <laughs> I didn't feel like doing several coats. So when you use the straight up chalk paste, you just have to be careful because it does get kind of thick. So you just want to continue to dip your paintbrush into the paste to keep it moist. Next, I'm going to take this light baby pink that I got from Arteza. It is acrylic paint. I honestly forget what the name of it is, but I did go ahead and cover the third side all the way around. Okay. 
I made sure it was super dry and added a second coat. And then once that coat was completely dry, then I'm gonna take this transfer that just has a little design, a few little flowers and stuff on it. I don't really know what you wanna call it. And I lined that up perfectly and then transferred that on with my camel chalk paste. And the look I was going for was like ice cream shop, you know, that kind of theme. So I thought that these looked perfect together. Once again, if you're not into the colors or, you know, even the images that I used, that's the beauty of this kit, which you, again, you do have to buy all of the things separately, but you can use this over and over. You can also um, make things double-sided so you can switch it out. There are so many different options to use with these. Plus, you don't even have to use the images that I used. Again, there are so many images images that I did not use. So again, if you don't like what I did, totally do what you like and do it until your eyes are happy. And I would just encourage you to step outside your comfort zone because y'all, this is not in my comfort zone. My thing is farmhouse, Christmas, and fall DIYs. Those are my things that I absolutely love to DIY. So things like this that help me to step outside my comfort zone really like stretch my vision, if you will. So I went ahead and glued down the little ice cream to the front of this, like you saw. And then I also transferred on the fresh picked cherries to the side of my book stack as well. And I wanted to mention that I also leave all of these items in a link down below and in the pinned comment for you. And then that was it for this faux little cute book stack. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. Now I'm curious to hear, would you guys switch up the colors? Would you switch up the images? I would love to hear the way you would decorate your tiered tray. Next, we're gonna go to the little mini rolling pin and I'm gonna take this grandma's transfer. I forget what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but I transfer that on with my black paste and then once again I slowly peel this up black is one of those colors that you really have to be careful with so I'm always extra extra cautious and careful when using my black paste making sure that it is nice and even and then when I peel back that transfer going super super slow and then I also created a simple bow with my red and white buffalo check ribbon that I got from Walmart. I make a little finger bow and everybody always asks me questions about the finger bow. Generally, I just speed it up and then direct you guys to my bow video, but I figured for this video, I would leave it in because y'all, it is literally so easy. And if you need to watch that again, just rewind it and watch it again. And you can also slow it down by clicking the dots in the right hand corner. And then you're going to go to speed and just slow that down. So once I create my finger bow I very easily and carefully pull it off of my fingers and then I just adjust the loops to be even I cut off the ends to where I want them and then I hot glue that to the left side of the rolling pin and look how cute this turned out it says grandma's kitchen obviously I don't know why I couldn't think of that but anyway I love the way that this turned out for the next mini DIY, we're gonna move on to the little cutting board. Isn't it so stinking cute? So I'm gonna take the cherry pie transfer. I'm gonna transfer on the wording at the bottom with my black paste, as well as the wording under the word cherry. And then I'm gonna transfer on the crust with my camel the inside of the pie with my candy apple red and then the rest of the wording and the little design on the side of the wording at the top with my white paste now to get into these little tiny details y'all it's so easy all you have to do is just cut a squeegee in half once again the squeegees are on my chalk site i will leave the board erasers that you need to clean the transfers i will leave the transfers as well as all of the accessories that you need as well 
in one link and then you guys can add and subtract from the link as you wish so if you didn't want to get like the little mini cutting board and all of the cutouts and all that stuff you just wanted to make your own Dollar Tree stuff and grab the transfers and the tier tray or whatever the case may be y'all can add and subtract to the cart as you wish like I said so once I was done peeling back that gorgeous image I dry it make another simple bow and glue that to the top at the handle and then I did not record this because I did it afterwards but I did tape it off at the bottom and paint that white that way it did not like clash with the tear tray itself. For the mini board and base, I'm going to add on the little container of cherries and transfer that on. Now the beauty with the board and base is you guys can erase this and change up the image with the seasons and it is double sided as well. So I just transfer on the container with the eggshell blue and then obviously the cherries with the red and the stems with the lime once again. Now we do have this little tool. I love it so much. It's called the detail tool. So when you have things that are bigger than like half a squeegee and they're just so tiny that it's really hard to get in there, we do have a tiny, tiny little detail tool, like I said, that helps you to not make a mess with your colors. Now for this step, I shouldn't have been lazy and I should have washed my transfer be before, <laughs> y'all know I can't talk, beforehand because you can still see that it says cherries, but it would have looked much better had I not been lazy and washed it. So I would advise you to do that. Um, but I did just go ahead and transfer on the word cherries. I peel that back and dry it. And then once I was completely done with that, then I transferred on the little circle, 25 cents a pint on the side of the word cherries. And that was it for the little mini board and base. Again, we have bigger board and bases in white and black as well that are completely reusable. You can erase the image off of there as long as you use the paste. Because if you guys did not know, we also carry ink that you can make cups and shirts and all kinds of stuff with. When you heat set the ink, it is permanent, but the paste is removable on certain surfaces. Look how cute this is, and I love the way that it turned out. Next, I'm going to take the little mini picture frame, and I'm going to take this soda shop transfer and another tip and trick is when you lay down your transfer, you wanna make sure to push it down and smooth it out as best as possible. That way it doesn't bleed on you. So I transfer on the cup with the eggshell blue, the wording with my candy apple red, the straw with the lime, and then the little cherry with the red as well. And then I did the ice cream, or I should, is this? Yeah, this is a milkshake. <laughs> I transfer on the milkshake shape with my peony paste. Once again, I peel back that transfer and look how cute this turned out. I absolutely love anything miniature. I don't know what it is about mini stuff, but it's just so cute. I cannot get enough of it and I seriously look forward to to doing these tear trays with every season. Okay, my sweet friends, now we're gonna move on to the Dollar Tree DIYs. So I'm gonna take this wooden cutting board from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take off the sticker at the bottom and then I'm just going to sand the edges smooth because this was a pretty rough cut. So I didn't wanna get splinters or if the kids grabbed it or something. So I just went ahead and sanded down those edges smooth and then gave it a distressed coat of white Waverly chalk paint.
Next, I'm going to take my antique Waverly Wax and my chip brush that I get from Amazon that is always linked down below in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And I just dry brush all the way around my mini cutting board and then in the middle of the cutting board as well. I then take my Life is Sweet transfer and transfer that on with my black chalk paste. Once I peel that transfer up, of course I dry it. And then I'm going to take my little cherry cutout. And I wish that I would have painted this black first. So if you guys do this project, make sure that you paint the cherries first before you transfer the cherry image on because when I laid it on my cutting board I just hated that you couldn't see that it was an actual cutout so at first I just started by like painting the edges but I still did not like the way that that looked as well so I just went around as best as I could completely around the cherry and I just painted that complete background black. Next, I'm going to glue that cherry down to the bottom of the cutting board, making sure that the cherry does not hang off the side. Sorry for my big head. And then I'm going to take this really tiny red ribbon as well as that same buffalo check ribbon that I've been using. I'm going to make a simple bow once again, a finger bow, and then I glue that to the top of the cutting board as well. And that was it for this little mini cutting board. I love how cute this is. Once again, it's not really my thing that I would normally do, but once I was complete all once I completed all the projects and put it all together, I could not get over how gorgeous it turned out. I'm just curious to hear, do you guys like these tiered tray tutorials or not so much? Okay, friends, for the last and final mini DIY, I take this little house picture frame from Dollar Tree. I take it out of the plastic and paint the background with my white Waverly chalk paint. Once I completely dried that, y'all know I'm impatient, so I dried it with my blow dryer, and then I transferred on these little mini cherries into the middle with my red and lime chalk paint. I also dry brushed some of my antique wax over that little frame as well, and then I put that back into my picture frame. And then once I was done with that, then I'm going to just transfer on sweet cherry to the front. And that was it for these DIYs. I am so curious to hear what you guys think. Would you guys have changed up the colors? I just love to hear your opinions. Be nice. Be kind. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. I don't know why it's so hard for some people just to like click off of a video and like go somewhere else. I don't know. But I am so curious to hear what you guys think down in the comments section below. Once again, I want to say how much I love and appreciate every single one of you for supporting me through this crazy time in my life. And I know that it comes and goes really quickly. So I'm just trying to soak it all in and trying to enjoy, like I said, the little bit of time that I do have when my kids are little and they want to spend time with me. So with that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. You are gorgeous. You can literally do anything you set your mind to. Coming from a heroin addict who is nine years sober, I know that if I can do it, you guys can do it as well. I also want to say, if you guys want to hang out with me, I literally go live every single night to get to know you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. A lot of people have ketone questions and questions about the biz because 
because if you did not know, I just recently lost 80 pounds of pure fat just by drinking a simple drink. Think keto diet in a drink and y'all I only share this because it literally helped me to change my entire life my attitude my aura like everything about me changed I also help people make money online building a brand on social media and sharing your own story so I would love to help you guys do that as well just text my number the word biz if you want any info on the biz or if you want any ketone info, how I lost the weight, text my number, the word ketones. Or once again, if you want to learn how to get 40% off everything on the chalk site, text me the word chalk. Until next time, bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.